Number 71. Classify each substance in the table as either a metallic, ionic, molecular, or covalent network solid. So one of the four crystalline solids that will occur when a liquid solidifies into a solid. Well, we have the three substances here, X, Y, and Z, and we just have to figure out what X, what Y is, and what Z is. So I guess let's take one substance at a time. Let's figure out what substance X is. Now here is all of substances X, substance X's <laughs> um, physical properties. So let's see. Appearance is brittle and white. Okay, so it could be a little, you know, chalky, kind of brittle, right? It could break when you touch it, and it has a white appearance. Melting point, 800 degrees Celsius. If I compare the three of these, it seems like the 800 degrees Celsius is roughly the lowest one out of the bunch. We got 1100 and 3550 degrees Celsius. So this melting point is roughly low, but it's not like 100 degrees Celsius. This would relatively be low, right? If you're talking about 50 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Celsius, those are low melting points. We're almost close to 1,000. So this is roughly like um, a higher-ish melting point, even though it is the lowest one out of all three of these. But let's keep going. Electrical conductivity only conducts electricity when it's either dissolved in, you know, aqueous solution, so in water, or if it's melted. Now, as soon as you see this information, that this substance, whatever it is, needs to get melted in order to conduct electricity, meaning if I take the, here's my solid form of whatever this substance is, if I take a, you know, a probe and I probe it, you know, and have a wire that's connecting to a light bulb, right? Bing, 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 bing. It will not turn on. The light bulb will not turn on because it's in the solid form. However, if I take this and I dissolve it, right, in water, and now it's just kind of like a pool that's coming, you know, with the water, right? So now it's in the water and you stick it with the probe. That light bulb will turn on. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> so whenever you see this type of idea, there's only one substance that does that, and that is your ionic solids, the metal and the nonmetal. And ionic solids are always soluble in water because things that have a pole, like a dipole moment, go with polar material. So it would dissolve. Soluble means to dissolve. But this is the key for a substance X. And I did list all the properties down here for your four crystalline solids. And if we just zone in on that electrical conductivity, for ionic substances, it conducts electricity as a liquid, but not as a solid. It needs to be melted or dissolved. It cannot be as a solid. And if we do look at the other ones, metallic solids, they conduct heat and electricity very well by a solid. So that one's not it. Your covalent network and your molecular networks, they do not conduct electricity at all, no matter what state they're in. So ionic is the answer for substance X. Now let's go to substance Y. Okay, so substance Y, shiny, malleable, ooh, shiny stuff tells me that this is a metal, right? So I'm... I'm I'm looking at metals. So I'm either down to the, the, the two types of solids that have metals in it, right? And the two types of solids that have metals in it is ionic or metallic. So you'll see at least a metal, you know, maybe, un unless we're dealing with polyatomics for ionic, but definitely you'll see metals for metallic because the word metal is in the word metallic. Now, if we just see in, ter in terms of appearance, metallic solids are very, 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 very shiny. Oh, and they're also malleable. Ionic ones are not shiny. They're hard brittle, and that's why it said brittle over here. So that was another giveaway. But in, in your covalent networks and your molecular, 
you don't have that shiny appearance. And just know that from there, I mean, as soon as I see shiny, you know that this substance is going to be a metallic substance. But I also want to point out one other thing, and that's this right here. Electrical conductivity is high. Whenever you see a high electrical conductivity, this is the giveaway for metallic. So shiny is metallic, and also high uh, electrical conductivity is also metallic solids. And that's what it says right here. Conducts heat and electricity well. The other ones don't, and ionic, you need to have it as a liquid. Last one, XYX, XYZ. Okay, Z is hard, all right, and it's colorless, okay? So it's not a white color, not shiny, can't really see it. But whoa, 3,550 degrees Celsius, this is crazy high. This is a crazy high melting point. So I'm going to keep that in mind, that's going to play. Crazy high melting points with no electricity, no uh, electrical conductivity. So if you probe it, it won't turn a light bulb on. And it's not soluble in water, so it does not dissolve in water. Now, since we're talking about hard materials with crazy high melting points, we're down to basically your non-metals, covalent network and molecular. However, the difference between covalent network and molecular is the melting points. For covalent networks, you will have very, very high melting points. Molecular, you have very, very low melting points. 3,550 degrees Celsius is a huge melting point. This would be a covalent network, mainly because it's the combination of having a crazy high melting point and no electrical conductivity, and that's what that is said over here. And also, very hard, it was hard. So the combination of these three told us that Z was a covalent network. Solid. So ionic solid, metallic solid, covalent network solid. And we can box this answer off, and that's the end for the video. What do you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. If you want to help us out, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for that. And tell your friends and classmates. Um, we, we possibly could help them out as well in their classes. We also have physics and math videos on the channel. So go check it out. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.